in the next couple of videos we're going to go through how to select and deselect objects in an RTS game so I've created the script and all the game objects and everything's running so we can select them and when we select an object a project is activated which projects a pattern on the ground that demonstrates that we've selected the unit okay so we can select other units as well and deselect them but it's not as simple as using mouse get button down get button up because we need to put a drag functionality in there as well so we'll do that in the next couple of videos with the drag but um, if we put our mouse down we can move it away and release it and it, the unit won't select so vice versa as well if we put our mouse down on the terrain and lift it up on the unit it will not select either so it acts just like an application in the real world alright guys so in this video I'm going to go through the projector so to create the projector um, I've parented an empty game object onto the unit which I've called character so the projectors um, basically projects any uh, cookie you like and it projects it onto an object we can ignore certain objects and to create a, a projector you go to component effects and projector so let's have a look at the projector um, by default uh, the projector is not active so we can activate it by clicking this tick and as you can see I firstly edited the near clip plane the far clip plane so it's just the height of the of the unit so it stops at the base of the unit and you can just uh, edit it like this very simple to do the field of view you can edit to make the projection wider or bigger and uh, you can make it orthographic as well but we won't be using that and the, you can assign the material so let's dive into the material which I've got in this folder called it selector and for this material we've used a, a shader which I've um, edited basically so the default shaders you need to give you are the light and the multiply but the problem is here the uh, the, the projector will be black and white when we color so we need to edit a shader to make it to, uh, to tint a color with it that's what we've done here so in the unity wiki online you can copy and paste what we call the additive uh, shader but this has just been edited slightly to include a tint color as well so we've added a property called color and uh, we've multiplied the color of the texture here so it's not really important to understand guys but you can download this for free I'll put it on the uh, unity chat website so we've used this material and with the fall off let me explain the fall off so this is just another texture and the textures are just uh, Photoshop files because I need to edit them and you know so I've just got a texture type of, of advanced and when you want a full alpha it's white and when when it's the black there is no alpha the alpha is zero so totally transparent and white is totally opaque and when we get to the end of the far clip plane or the far clip plane the projection fades out that's, so that's why I've got that gradient there and we can demonstrate this here as I lift up the camera or the projector it fades out okay so if the character jumps if you want a character to jump or something um, or lift off the ground boom it quickly fades out alright guys so simple as that um, we might want to make that a bit longer actually just really simple lift it up and uh, increase the far clip plane okay so if you want your units to jump or lift off the ground or something you can do that and it will quickly fade out and I think that's everything with the projector okay the ignore layers you can ignore certain layers so I've wanted this projector to ignore the unit itself so we just make a new layer called unit and uh, put it in the projector okay so apply the material that's all sorted out and the cookie is just a black and white texture you can use so we can use a circle or any other shape and if you want to have multiple colors just you can parent multiple projectors together in one object okay so that's how I've gone about doing this and you might wonder why I've chosen a projector that's because even if it's on a bumpy terrain we will still be able to see the entire projector okay so if we use a plane or, or anything like that it will cut through the projector works really well in this case for the strategy game okay guys so in the next video I'll, I'll show you how to code out the, the system so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video